Welcome on in everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add mods to Path of Titans console as well as for PC. Alright, now it should be the same for all these. Um, it will, this will be through Nitrato. Um, there's already tutorials out there for G Portal. Not many for uh, Nitrato. Uh, Path Titans just came out available for Nitrato. So we're going to go ahead and go through and show how to add mods to that. All right. So without any other delays, let's go ahead and get into it. On my way, there's a link down in the description. Basically, an app on your phone where when you don't use your phone while driving, you actually get points that you can use and redeem for gift cards for different things. Okay. Show y'all there. There we go. Okay. So these are some of the things you get. You get Starbucks, uh, makeup, earbuds, travel, gift cards. Like I said, a, a lot of good stuff here. All right. So download on my way using the link in, in the description below and you'll actually get um, $100 just for clicking that link is kingwin.net you can get some great deals on some games windows things to be covering here we got windows for 24 pounds which is around $25, the US dollar. We got a key for Modern Warfare 2, a one hour XP for 25 cents. God of War on Steam for, for $20. Elder Rings for 30 for, for You got some great, great deals here. Spider Man, a bunch of different games. All right. All these are right here available to you. You get the discount uh, when you click the link below. I'm going to have it down there for ping one. All right, so first of all, let me go ahead and start this up. Is it pre record so we could walk through it together? Um, and you could hear the audio perfectly fine. And so we're going to go through. All right. Um, so first of all, you're going to create your server. There are several ways that you can do that. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and pause this and check this out. So first off, uh, PlayStation, I believe, and PC, you need to go on the internet. You can do it from your phone, I believe. You can also do it from your computer, which I'm doing from my computer now. Um, however, Xbox um, requires you to do it through the Nutrato Xbox app on your Xbox. So if you're on Xbox, go ahead and do that. If you're on PC or PlayStation, go ahead and do the other way. Once you have your server, we're assuming that you already have your server, you already bought it, all right? Then you're gonna go and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna um, na name your server, and you're gonna get uh, your server hosting token, which is just right here, right here, okay? Let's say right here, somewhere, right here, yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna go to the website that it, that it says right down at the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna get the code from there. If you could generate, um, it'll give you the code. And then you just paste that code right in here, right? I'm not gonna do that because I've already done that, and I don't want to reveal my token because I want to keep that, okay? So that's how you do it. Paste it right there. So you see, we're doing it now. All right. All right. And then once you do that, you want to save your changes. Yeah. So we're gonna do that here. So we 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 click on the website, all right? And then you're gonna click on 
generate new token but once you log in all right and then it'll give you a token right where the yellow yellow wording is and you just copy that and paste it right in here okay that gives you the ability to um have a server without that you would not be able to have a server okay so now we're going to go into um edit files it's down at the bottom left let's go into we're going to go to game server settings and then we're going to scroll all the way down the bottom all these other things we don't they really got um worry about for now all these things can be changed this is how you know you change number you change true or false and that's you know how you set your for other things and all that good stuff but now we're just going to worry about um the the mods that we're going to have okay so we're going to we're going to add some dinos we're going to add a new map all right um i will provide uh a uh text that you can just copy and paste in there but if you want um that will have all that information in there uh, i would advise not uh taking all that and just putting in there uh, without watching the video all the way through to make sure you know what you're doing um because it's very very tricky and if you do it wrong you can crash ser your server now this particular part right here this is um the example that they gave on wikipedia all right so i went and just copy paste this and i'm going to modify it with each one i'm going to put all this stuff on wordpad all right and the next step is to download um and install Path of Titans on your console or PC. In this case, we're doing Xbox, so we're installing it on our Xbox. Once it's installed on our Xbox, we're going to start it up. We're going to log in. If you had not already set up an account, you need a separate account so you can be able to log in. I'm going to go to mods. I'm going to see the top that says compatible. These are all the, all the mods that are compatible with your system. Whether you're on Switch, PlayStation, PC, or Xbox. All right. So we're going to go through and find which ones we want here. Now, we're just going to do the dino ones, and we're not going to do these other dino ones, the ones with the little white uh, symbol, um, little star symbol there. We're just going to go through and do just the other dino mods. All right. So the first one here. We're going to put a... Um, name of map here this will not be as the same one that we'll be using but th this is just the map this is for example we're going to do this map here and then sorry about that and then we're just going to type in a mod for the triceratops right here okay all right so first off let's go ahead and show you how to do this now the, the numbers we're typing in is from here, okay? You're gonna go into the mods. You're going to click on the one you want, and then right here, it will be the mod ID. It's right here. Um, you can not go see it. I'm glad I'm in the way. All right. There we go. So there you can see the mod ID right there and you click on that and um 
So you you copy that. You won't be able to copy paste, obviously, but you'll need to write it down. So you can go ahead and add it to add it to here. All right. So you need to go ahead and you know add it. You go. See, I'm adding it now. That's the name of the mod. And then, as you can see here, uh, underneath, I pasted it in uh, from the clipboard that I did earlier. All right, and that's the same as that. So do that for all of them. Once you have all your mods in, click all the ones you want. Put them in there. It's good to go. And then we tweak, we, we tweak some settings here. Uh, in this, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to go over this. Um, go through and make sure you got your settings correct. Then after that, we save. And then we go to, we go ahead and re restart the server, yeah, or or start the server. And then here we just waiting on the server to start while we're in. Uh, yeah, so here, we type in skill test in the top left, name of the server. We're just gonna hit Y to refresh or whatever button it tells you to. Depressed in order to refresh. All right, let's go ahead and just keep going here. So we're still restarting. Go ahead, and restart it. It'll probably restart a couple times, especially if you first, if you if you just got the server, it will restart sometimes. <clears throat> All right, we just showed up. We click on that. And it will tell us that we have some mods that we need to download in order to be able to play. We're just going to go ahead and go through and say yes, install the mod. And we'll just let, let that run. We're going to fast forward through it real quick. So one, once it is installed, Download it completely. Then the game will start up and you're ready to go. You can start creating your, your dial. Okay, so we are going to pick this guy and we're going to start playing. That's simple. Alright. Easy. Simple. And you go right there. Um, I will put a... Uh, reference in there in in the comments below. I won't put the full uh, list uh, because you know I want you guys to be able to watch the whole thing all the way through. Um, I don't want you guys to just cop come in and copy and paste you know the stuff and call it good. Uh, we're gonna basically I show you all the things that we can go through. Uh, you just basically do all that doing all of your mods that you want to add in and you're good to go. Hopefully this video has been helpful, and hopefully um, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, comment below, and let let, let me know uh, if this video was helpful to you. And appreciate everything you guys do. If you do, if you do want to help out and give me. A little bit of um, a boost in in what I'm doing here today. We can also do a uh, I have a reference, a referral code that you guys can go in and copy and paste, put it in whatever, and you guys will actually um, help me get my referrals in, and that will unlock some dinos for me and. Uh, that would really help me out as well. 
The referral code will be in the link below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want, you're more than welcome to join in on the server I created and enjoy the server. I just ask that you join my Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. So you can check that out.